My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about, oh, fuck it, this list is massive. Oh yes, Yamaha. Right, so I did a video about um, oil lights and there was one thing I did miss out. I was meant to say in that video and I missed it when I was doing editing like a fucking idiot and a lot of people jumped on it in the comments, which is fantastic. That's what it's all about. Um, I was meant to say one little line in the video and I think it's because I started getting sidetracked by talking to Isaac about it. It was just meant to be a video where I was just blab on and I got sidetracked. Um, it's easy to get sidetracked by Isaac. Yep. <laughs> so what I was meant to say in that video was one little thing. I was meant to say, um, if you see a light come on, it is your oil pressure. Apart from Yamaha, we'll get to that. That is this video, and I forgot to say that. And I should have even edited it and just put a bit in it. Right, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a whole video about just the Yamaha thing. So Yamaha have a tendency to uh, uh, across nearly all of their, I think it's nearly all of their bikes. I haven't come across one. The XJ600 has one, the R6, blah, 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 all these other bikes. They have an oil level light. And the reason why I want to do an entire video about that is because it's an interesting subject, just period, just full stop, um, that everyone else chooses to use an oil pressure indicator where Yamaha have an oil level light. And the reason why um, I want to do an entire video on it is because it's not just because it has an oil level light, it's because of the reasons to choose to do that. So most of the manufacturers have chosen to go with an oil pressure light. Yamaha have decided to go with an oil level light. Now you think, well, that makes sense because it serves two purposes. If you have less and less oil in your engine, eventually that's going to start affecting your oil pressure because the engine has to fill with oil and as you are supping from your sump, your pressure is going to drop and your oil indicator light is going to come on. People who run their engines to the point where they have not enough oil in, <clears throat> not me, definitely you, um, it's, it's really bad. It's very, I, it blows my mind that people do that. It really does because, you know, you can stick in nearly three litres of oil in a bike for it to get so low that your oil pressure indicator comes on, if it's a pressure system in, in the sense, not Yamaha, is quite amazing. That Yamaha doesn't have one. What? That Yamaha there, the white and orange one. Doesn't have anything? It doesn't have anything. Oh, the dumbs. It has an indicator and a high beam and a light which has never been activated. I don't know what it is. What is it? Is it like? Could be part of that. It's your engine management one. It just never flagged up. Regardless. Um, so there's pros and cons to both. Obviously your oil pressure light will not tell you if your oil is running low. You could have 50% of the oil that's required and it's running low. The problem I have with oil level lights is that you can have a problem and your oil level still be within that range. So if you get a blockage um, between your pump and your filter, your oil level light is not going to change, but your engine is dying. It has been starved of oil. Now, nine times out of 10, if your oil pressure light does come on, like I said to Isaac in that video, there's a range. So your oil pressure will drop to a certain range. Let's just say your oil pressure is meant to be 60, 60 PSI. We'll go with PSI because that's what most people measuring it in. Um, so if you've got 60 PSI of oil, let's just say 40 PSI would be dangerous. And then 50 is where the light comes on. So you drop from 60 down to 50, and then you have that buffer of, you know, your engine's not going to die, but there is a problem happening. That can be a clogging filter. Maybe your fucking, um, your uh, pressure release valve isn't working, something like that. Just something's going wrong. Something's going horribly wrong. You've got to remember that that light is actually a last resort because there is a pressure relief valve in your oil gallery for overpressurizing and so on and so on and so on. There's a pressure relief valve in your oil filter, stuff like that to maintain oil in the system. Um, the fact of it is like there are a few instances, a few cases where you can have the right oil level, but not the right pressure. But not the right pressure. And I think that's why most manufacturers have decided to go for an oil pressure light and not an oil level light. A lot of people, and it used to happen with me um, with the R6, uh, the R1, is that 
you could just fucking really slam on and your oil pressure indicator, a level light comes on because all the oil's sloshed to the front. Mm. And stuff like wheelie-ins, another one. It can flicker on and off. It can do stuff like that. Um, the other thing is as well is that, um, yeah, there are certain instances where you can get a kind of a false reading. They flicker on for a bit. The thing is, you can have an instance where your light comes on and then five minutes later it blinks off, but should you be stopping or not? You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, generally it means, oh, your oil level, you're not going to use that much oil so you're in the danger if that light comes on. But if there's a pressure pro if there's an actual oil pressure system problem, which can really destroy engines, That's definitely a problem. like, and your oil filter's leaking. If your oil filter leaks and your level is dropping, your oil level light comes on, you might think, oh, that's just because it does it now and then. When I rag it a bit, it comes on. In five minutes, I'll blink off. Carry on down the road. It's pissing out oil everywhere. Then your fucking engine dies. Or worst case scenario, you fucking slip off. Because an engine dying doesn't, you know, most of the time doesn't kill you. You coming off, there's a good chance that you get seriously injured or be killed. Um, so Yamaha have decided, they've outright decided that a level light is better. It it's two functions it helps you keep the oil level in your engine correct however there are instances scenarios let's say where your oil level can be fine but your bearings are turning themselves into shit and it's weird actually to say that because there are a lot of spun bearing pictures and stuff if you put spun bearings you know conrod's fucking died something like that a lot of them seem to be yamaha <laughs> now i don't know if that's just a coincidence or whatever it's just food for thought you know a lot of these Yamahas uh, I've had three Yamahas drop valves now could that be an oil problem the oil level light didn't come on the oil pressures dropped off who knows I doubt it but you can see what I'm saying is the fact of the matter is I think most manufacturers have gone for an oil pressure light because that's more detrimental than an oil level light if you run your engine dry, your oil pump light will, your pressure light will come on, which in a sense does a double duty, where there are scenarios where your oil level light will say, oil level's fine, but your fucking system's clogged. There's a big bit of shit in your gear pump, or there's a big shit in a gallery, and something's dying. Um, you know, one of the things that, one of the problems with an oil pressure light is it does not come on for too much pressure. That's what your main gallery pressure release valve is for. You know, I mean, that's a mechanical device. Maybe that's fucked as well. Very slim chance of these things happening. It was just an, a, a wanted to a separate video saying that it's interesting, just a talking point, that Yamaha have gone for an oil level light where everyone else goes for an oil pressure light. If I was to build an engine... What would you go for? Pressure. Pressure? Yeah. Just because it's more... Well, it tells you when things are going shit. Or you just install both, you know what I mean? Yeah, just both. But they've decided, you know what I mean? But anyway, hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.